Now let's look at the surface area for a regular pyramid. Regular pyramid, first of all, is just telling us that the base of our pyramid is a regular polygon. So in the example we have down here, our base is a square. You can have a regular triangular pyramid, you can have a regular square pyramid, regular pentagonal pyramid. It just tells you that your base has equilateral, so congruent sides, and equiangular, congruent angles. If I'm looking at a pyramid, though, I know I have my base, and then I have my triangular sides. There we go, four triangular sides. The surface area, the surface area, there we go, will be the blue area plus the red area. So I realize that this surface area is going to be the area of the base of this polygon. So we're going to use B, where B is the area of the base. plus the areas of each of the blue triangles. Well, let's look down here. Each of these triangles, this line right here is called the slant height. Because we consider this green line right here that goes straight down to be the actual height. But the slant height gives me the height of my triangular lateral face. And if this is the side of my square, then the area of one triangle, so the area of the triangle, will be one half the side of the square times the slant height. And I realize, though, that I'm going to need to use this four times because I have four triangles here. So I'm going to get 1 half s times the slant height plus 1 half s times the slant height plus 1 half s times the slant height plus 1 half s times the slant height. For this case, that's 4 times 1 half s times the slant height. If I rearrange this, I get 4 times s, 1 half times the slant height. Well, here's the really cool part. 4s is the perimeter of my square. It's the perimeter of my base. So I realize that this is the same as the perimeter times 1 half my slant height. Thus, I can account for all of the triangular faces at once by adding 1 half times the perimeter times the slant height. So here, P is the perimeter of the base, and L is the slant height. And this works for any pyramid, pyramid we might have. This would also work for a pentagonal pyramid. Because in this case, we would have five triangles. So we would have 1 half times S times the slant height five times. And again, though, we could rearrange this to be 5s times 1 half times the slant height. And that 5s would be the perimeter of the pentagon. So again, we have perimeter times 1 half times slant height. So this is our ever important surface area formula for a regular pyramid. Which brings us to example one.